everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up so you guys i am here finally to give y'all my thoughts on the new bath and body Works sweetheart cherry fragrance this is one of their newest fragrance releases one that was anticipated by people i feel like this was one of the most talked about fragrances that bath and body works has done recently because it's been a while since they came out with some bangers let's be honest so sweetheart cherry definitely took the internet by storm i had to go ahead and get the full set to try it out for you guys so i have the shower gel the body cream as well as the fine fragrance mist and i'm going to be going over everything just being very thorough in depth with my review view of the fragrance so you can make a decision on whether or not you want to buy this fragrance whether or not it's for you and then i'm also going to be giving a lot a lot of different layering combos both with perfumes as well as body sprays so that you can definitely get creative with this fragrance i feel like you should get creative with all of your fragrances if you buy them and you like them try them with different things just to see if you can amplify the scent or make it better in some way so i'm definitely going to be giving you guys a lot of options here to try out with this new fragrance i feel like this was the perfect time to bring this out for valentine's day i feel like this is definitely a valentine's day scent so if you guys want to hear all of my thoughts on the new Bath & Body Works Sweetheart Cherry scent, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, I'm going to break it down by product. And then I'm going to give you guys my overall thoughts of the scent in general when you layer everything and you just have it on your skin and you're wearing it. Okay, so the first thing is obviously the shower gel. You guys can see that I have used it. I love the color of the liquid that's inside of the bottle. And Sweetheart Cherry, um, the fragrance notes are Wild Cherry, Crushed Pistachio, and Whipped Vanilla. That sounds amazing. It literally sounds like a sweet cherry nutty vanilla type of scent it sounds so good so actually the shower gel the way that this liquid looks is the way that the shower gel smells i feel like the shower gel is a little bit of a deeper kind of medicinal type of scent it's definitely still syrupy it's definitely still cherry like but i feel like in the body wash you get more of a deeper fragrance and it almost kind of leans on the side of like a cloud baccarat rouge dna like the undertone of it so while it does still smell like cherry and it does still smell like something nutty and almondy it kind of has that undertone of a cloud and baccarat dna and this is the only form of it that i feel like has that that undertone in my opinion so usually the shower gel and the body creams are the sweetest forms of the fragrance whenever they come out but for some reason i don't feel like the shower gel is as sweet as the body cream or as sweet as the fine fragrance mist Something about this one, like I said, is just deeper and heavier. It takes on what the actual liquid looks like, like what the actual liquid depicts. It's so deep and heavy and like a sexy fragrance almost. That's what the shower gel makes me think of. So I like the shower gel, but I don't like it as much as I like the other products in the line. But the shower gel is definitely nice and it lingers in your shower for a really, really long time. So next is the body cream. And I really, really like the body cream. I think this is actually the strongest form of this scent because i put this scent on last night for bed i'm also wearing it today but i put this scent on last night for bed and when i woke up i could literally still smell this on my skin when i started moving around making breakfast doing things in the morning time i could still smell this like coming off of my skin i don't know why there are so many reviews of people saying that this doesn't last and it's a softer scent on me and my skin is not a soft scent at all this is not soft this lingers this definitely can be smelled it projects like it was on my sheets this morning as well so i think that it's a stronger type of scent i don't know obviously body chemistry plays a role in that but i really 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 like the body cream so i feel like with the body cream as well as the fine fragrance mist you get more of that super sweet yummy cherry it is literally so good so syrupy juicy just sweet but you guys know cherries like real cherries they aren't like super super bright and fruity like a strawberry would be or even like a raspberry cherries have a little bit of a i don't know like a deeper syrupy feel to them and i feel like they nailed it in this scent the cherry in this scent is super sexy and sweet it literally is a perfect valentine's day scent i love that okay and then in the body cream like at right immediately after the cherry you start to get that like whipped pistachio nutty kind of scent it's not super super like powdery nutty it just smells nutty like not powdery but it just smells like 
nutty. And then you have that whipped vanilla to round everything off. It has a sweetness to it. It has a creaminess to it. I just feel like it rounds the entire scent out. Very, very pretty. Like, I don't know y'all, this scent, it is really, really nice, okay? And then for the Fine Fragrance Mist. I feel like the Fine Fragrance Mist is an equal balance of the cherry and that pistachio. It's like really, really good. It's like really, really good. Like immediately after you get that juicy, fruity, sweet, syrupy cherry, you get that nutty pistachio. And it's just super, super nice. So I'm typically like not gung-ho for cherry scents. I'm just not. The cherry in this does sort of remind me of the cherry in um, Sugar Cherry Crisp. And I say that because I'm literally using a shower gel and a body cream of Sugar Cherry Crisp now. So like the cherry is similar, but the scents are completely different. They take two completely different turns. And I like Sweetheart Cherry way, way more than I like Sugar Cherry Crisp. But again, I'm just not a cherry scent fan. I can deal with cherry, but a lot of the times I do feel like cherries can be medicinal and um, they can be a little too like deep and sometimes powdery for whatever reason. I don't know why. So that's how I feel about like the shower gel. I feel like the shower gel has that super, super deep syrupy cherry, a little bit powdery. That's why I said it has that cloud baccarat undertone. So I feel like a lot of people would not like the shower gel as much as they would like the body cream and the spray because this is the most medicinal out of all of the three but like i said i still like the shower gel i personally think that this would be backup worthy for a lot of people for myself because i'm trying to dwindle down my collection and really be you know mindful of what i'm bringing into my collection i think i would be okay with just having the body cream and the spray as a backup like one set of it and then be done with it after going through two full sets of this i think i would be done with it and over the scent like okay it was nice while i had it but now i'm ready to get rid of it so it's not like super super hoard or backup worthy in my opinion that's just me but it is a really really nice scent i feel like it's definitely a date night type of scent i definitely feel like it's a valentine's type of scent very sweet very sexy you can definitely play this up to be a little bit more sophisticated or you can add something else to it to make it more fun and playful you can take this scent in a lot of different directions and that's what i'm going to show you guys with my layering combinations so this scent, I really like that they brought this out. I think it was a good scent for them to bring out, the perfect time for them to bring it out. Something to get us talking because Bath & Body Works has not brought out scents that have had us talking for real, for real. So I'm happy that they did bring this one out and I'm excited to keep wearing it. Now let's get into these layering combinations. Okay, I feel like y'all are gonna love these. So I did already make a shorts video saying that there's going to be some obvious layering combinations that folks are going to do, um, like the new YSL Black Opium over Red, because this is a cherry fragrance. It's a sweet, sophisticated cherry fragrance. So I know that this was going to be one of the first things that people want to pair with Sweetheart Cherry. Um, also, like I said, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, the original of the Charosa 62. Everyone is familiar with this smelling like a sweet, nutty almond fragrance. Very, very nice. So I knew that this was going to be one of the choices. Um, same thing with this Passage Body Butter that everyone was talking about. Um, I knew that this was going to be like a base layer for a lot of people who only bought the mist of Sweetheart Cherry because it has that like nutty pistachio sweet note. So those combinations are definitely fire. Like there's nothing wrong with those combinations. There's nothing wrong with, you know, layering up the same notes that are in the actual fragrance mist. There's nothing wrong with that. I just have some different combinations that I want to show you guys. And like I said, there's a lot here. So there's some that are still in the cherry realm, but they give a little bit something different. Like they aren't as sweet as Sweetheart Cherry. So they give a little bit more of sophistication and sexiness that you can use for like date nights and things like that. And then I have some that are, again, still on the nutty side. So they still play up that pistachio note. And then I have some other ones that are just different. They just add something different to Sweetheart Cherry that I feel like could be fun. Something that you could really play around with and have fun with okay so i'm literally just gonna start grabbing stuff and going with it so i have been obsessed with t's coco soiree from victoria's secret 
ever since I got this fragrance, I literally have been wanting to layer this with so many different things and a lot of things. But y'all know why I would layer it with Sweetheart Cherry because this is going to give you that chocolate covered cherry vibe. And then the berry notes are gonna mesh really, really well. Cherries and berries always meshes really, really well. So this is just going to give you like that cocoa-y chocolate powder note. And like I told you guys before with Coco Tea Soiree, I feel like the actual body care has a heavier cocoa powder note. So if you have the actual body care I would suggest layering it underneath a Sweetheart Cherry and you're going to get that like sweet chocolate covered cherry type of scent. Another scent from Victoria's Secret. Now this is staying inside of the cherry realm, but this is going to give you deep, intense, heavily sexy type of cherry. So this is Bombshell Intense and I've had this fragrance for a while. And I always say that this smells like a cherry pit fragrance because it's very deep and sensual, but it's mature. It's like heavily sophisticated. So I feel like pairing this with Sweetheart Cherry is going to amplify that sophistication. It's not as playful anymore when you layer these together, but they still are very perfect together. And like I said, that stays in that cherry realm. So one that's really, really simple for those of you who want to keep it simple, bare vanilla, like bare vanilla goes with any and everything. Of course, it's going to go with Sweetheart Cherry. It's going to play up that um, whipped vanilla note. Like it's definitely going to give you something more creamy, soft, cashmere, and sweet, vanilla-y. Okay, so we all know bare vanilla is obviously a good choice. Um, I'm going to give you guys another vanilla, but this is using none other than my baby vanilla potion. That girl, that girl. So this one gives uh, Sweetheart Cherry something fun and sweet as well. But then the vanilla dry down again plays with that whipped vanilla note very, very well. This to me is definitely a um, any time and type of fragrance combination. So you can wear this starting off in the daytime and keeping it simple. And then you can take this all the way into nighttime. Um, vanilla Potion is just a very versatile fragrance in my opinion. So of course that plays really, really nicely. Um, back on the side of chocolate covered cherries. Okay. I'm going to introduce Choco Musk. This smells amazing. With Sweetheart Cherry, I really feel like a lot of gourmands would play really, really nicely with Sweetheart Cherry if you use them right, if you do the right gourmands. Because again, like I said, this right here is going to give you chocolate covered cherries the same way that um, Victoria's Secret Tea's Coco Soiree did. But it's not going to be too, too heavy on the chocolate. Y'all know Choco Must, while it is nothing but a milk chocolate fragrance, this is not going to take over the entire fragrance and just have you smelling like chocolate. It literally is going to mesh really, really well with Sweetheart Cherry and give you chocolate covered cherries. Okay, so this one is really, really nice to pair with it as well. If you wanted to use something more on the fruity side so it can kind of play up more of the cherry because I know a lot of people are saying that um, once it dries down, they don't get a lot of cherry. I feel like if you layer all of the scents together from the shower gel to the body cream to the spray, you would have more of that cherry scent coming out. At least I do on my skin. I get like a really, really nice longevity when it comes to the cherry, the actual cherry fragrance note. But if you wanted to use something more on the fruity side to give you more of that cherry, I feel like the Brazilian Crush Rosa 40, this would definitely play up that cherry scent. Although there's no actual cherry in this fragrance, it literally smells so fruity and deep and sweet because of that plum that is in here. It plays really, really well with the cherry. And I'm telling you, the two combined, it literally like prolongs the life of the cherry fragrance note. So definitely mix in Charosa 40 with Sweetheart Cherry. I'm telling y'all, trust me, okay? Trust me with these combos that I'm telling y'all to do, okay? You won't be disappointed with these. Charosa 40 smells so good with Sweetheart Cherry. Promise y'all. Keeping it light again on the vanilla note, La Vanilla Pure Vanilla. This is a pure vanilla fragrance. So of course, it's gonna layer really, really well with Sweetheart Cherry just to give it this soft airiness. It's literally, like this could be a base for Sweetheart Cherry. So spray this down first and then put the Sweetheart Cherry on top of it and just get like this um, soft powdery vanilla waft off of your skin in addition with that cherry scent. So this would definitely be a great companion with it as well. Going with the pistachio note. So this is Boss Bay by Misguided. Now this perfume I believe has been discontinued, but it doesn't matter because um, this is basically a dupe of Ellie Saab Girl of Now, which y'all know is a pistachio almond nutty type of scent. Sweet. It's really, really good. This will definitely pair really, really well with Sweetheart Cherry, of course, if you wanted to play up more of that like nutty 
Betty Pistachio Note. This is a very, very heavily complimented perfume. So I would definitely recommend this one or Ellie Saab Girl Up Now to mix with Sweetheart Cherry as well. Billie Eilish, of course. The dry down of this like vanilla sweet cocoa powder scent is definitely gonna play very, very well with Sweetheart Cherry to make it more gourmand, um, more sweet, more fun. Love that one. If you're trying to get eight up, definitely those two together would definitely go really, really well. Ruby Rush from Paris Hilton. This one is going to give it more of that like soapy clean type of cherry. So if you don't want so much sweetness from Sweetheart Cherry, definitely go with this one to, like I said, um, just give it a little bit more sophistication. Evening wear, like that type of vibe from Sweetheart Cherry. So it's not super, super sweet. Ascada Cherry in Japan is another one. Um, kind of like a soapy cherry like a floral type of cherry an aromatic type of cherry definitely would go really really well with sweetheart cherry one of my favorite perfumes of course of course jimmy choo fever again along the same lines of the charosa 40 how it has that like deep dark syrupy plum that deep dark syrupy plum plays extremely extremely well with the cherry and sweetheart cherry so definitely definitely jimmy choo fever you guys, this right here, this combination took me by surprise. So I have been using my Carol's Daughter um, Almond Cookie a lot, as you guys can see. So this perfume was definitely different than what I thought it was going to be. Um, this is very, very much so powdery, very much heavy on the powdery. And the scent notes are supposed to be sweet marzipan, warm vanilla almonds. This is literally like a powdery vanilla almond scent. It kind of reminds me of the Jergens. Um, what's the Jergens cherry scent? It kind of reminds me of that. So it's a no-brainer that I would mix and layer these two together. And they actually smell really, really good. I love layering this perfume specifically with a lot more of my sweet and gourmand scents, obviously, to make it more sweet and gourmand. So um, something about this almond cookie scent mixed with Sweetheart Cherry is just really, really good as well. Another shocking type of combo, y'all. Ocha Italian Cello. The Lira Dupe. I'm telling y'all. This like lemon pound cake, cinnamony, somewhat spicy fragrance with Sweetheart Cherry, Gourmand Heaven, like you wouldn't believe, okay? So good. So, so good. Gourmand sweetness, definitely right up my alley. Definitely a combo that I would love. Something that a lot of people probably wouldn't think of, but I'm telling y'all, ice lemon pound cake, spicy, cakey sweetness, so, so good. Um... I didn't want to show this product because I actually just got this product in, but I'm going to talk about it because I'm going to still do a haul of all of the new products that I just got in. But um, this is the Whey Body Cream. This is the um, Creme Polacor Melrose Place Body Cream. This is a really, really nice base for Sweetheart Cherry. Again, if you're just in that really sophisticated mindset, you want to smell high class, luxurious, Use this as a base first and then go in with your Sweetheart Cherry because this just smells like, kind of like you just had a clean bubble bath. Like it smells really, really pretty, delicate, feminine, nice. So again, if you just want to add a little bit of sophistication, put this on, then put your Sweetheart Cherry on. I promise it'll be so, so, so good. So I think I got all of my perfumes out of the way. Now I'm just going to show you guys some body care that I think would be perfect with Sweetheart Cherry. Because to me, in my opinion, I feel like Sweetheart Cherry goes with a lot of the perfumey type scents from Bath & Body Works just because it can go either way. It can go for a really, really sweet like gourmand type of scent or it can go for something really, really classy and elegant and sophisticated. Like cherry, I feel like cherry is just that type of scent note. So of course, I'm going to say mix it with bare vanilla candy. The, this is just, this is the goat. This is the goat. The same way how you mix it with bare vanilla this one just has like that added strawberry note and that marshmallow. I feel like it plays really, really well, especially with the shower gel. How I said the shower gel has like that Baccarat cloud DNA. This just goes really, really well with all of that. So Bare Vanilla Candy is a great choice. You're the One is another great choice. Even though this is strawberry, it has that drop of strawberry nectar. Just the perfuminess of that fragrance goes really, really well with Sweetheart Cherry. So does Blush Cardigan. The raspberry sweetness of this fragrance goes with Sweetheart Cherry. Sweet Petal Pound Cake, that rosy kind of cakiness. It keeps it sweet, but it's also sophisticated as well. So it pairs perfectly well with Sweetheart Cherry. And then Sun Ripened Raspberry. One of my favorites. Again, that raspberry, that sweet raspberry note. You guys know this doesn't actually smell edible. This kind of smells like a really, really heavy, perfumey type of raspberry scent. And it goes perfectly with Sweetheart Cherry, you guys. 
all of these combinations like if there's one combination here that you guys try that you just really do not like let me know in the comment section below because when i tell y'all all of these combinations slap all of these combinations slap and i'm not joking okay like point me to a better layering video for sweetheart cherry than this point me to them point me to them but no on that note you guys that is all my layering combinations those are my thoughts on sweetheart cherry i definitely think that this is worthy of you going to sniff it out um and you're probably gonna like it if you like cherry scents i really think that it's nice for like i said this time of year valentine's day and everything they did really really well with this scent they did really really well with the composition of this scent i like it i really do enjoy it i am enjoying it i have been enjoying it and it's a really, really nice scent. So perfect balance of perfumey sweetness. It's like a good mesh in between. So I have really been enjoying this one. So yeah, you guys, those are my thoughts on Sweetheart Cherry as well as my layering combinations. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know that you enjoyed it. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. You should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.